Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are watching this out there on the World Wide Web. This is Jeremy Geenland for Syscon TV. I am here at 11th Cloud Expo, Cloud Expo Silicon Valley, as is Alban Richard from YouShareSoft, CEO, no less. Welcome, Alban. Good morning, Jeremy. It is going marvelously again for YouShareSoft. Yes, very well. We are happy to be here. As usual, Cloud Expo is a good show. And we have to work out what it is you're doing. Still more energy everywhere and lots of people at the booth. What's going on? So what we're refreshing what Yushasoft is doing. We are a software vendor providing a, a package platform that we're providing to cloud providers, uh, large cloud providers, uh, small cloud providers, and also enterprise for actually uh, enabling to uh, onboard the software to the cloud. So cloud providers are providing YAS. It's a must have today, you know, the storage, the network, and the VLAN. What we're helping them to do with our software is to enable self-service onboarding for their customers, for onboarding ISVs, and for also building marketplace, which is the next, we believe this is the next battle for the cloud providers for uh, making making more uh, more more tractions versus the competitions and and uh, and getting some more margin because the margin is going to be also into the software for the cloud computing so as ever with you chefsoft not only are you facilitating things but you're getting ahead and facilitating what they're going to need yes we we do have um we do have a platform which is pretty unique in terms of the number of um, operating systems that we are enabling to build from so the platform is called UForge and we enable to have a template factory for every individual taking the service online as a self-service. And from this factory, they can build from any operating systems while supporting more than 30 operating systems and go to the format that the cloud provider wants to offer. And, and, and hypervisor, hypervisor format or cloud YAS platform formats. So we're supporting now the majority of all the YAS platforms such as uh, um, a Citrix cloud platform, uh, vCloud Director from VMware, Eucalyptus, uh, Nambula, um, Flexion, um, and, um, and um, um, Hyper-V from, from Microsoft. So you're offering flexibility. What kind of customers is that bringing? So um, that's a very good question. Thank you. We we are very strong in in in, in Europe and uh, and Japan, uh, and, and the, the type of customers who are providing our technology are two types: cloud providers, complementing their IaaS infrastructure with software onboarding, and also enterprise. We are working with some tier one cloud providers today for building the next generation app store and marketplace, and also for offering this VM factory this virtual machine template factory to their customer so they can delegate their, uh, their uh, onboarding to, to actually distributors, resellers, integrators. Right? So this is for the cloud provider space. And interestingly, in the past, in the past year, we have been signing very high-end um, um, system integrators that are integrating UFORGE from Ushasoft with some uh, portal products like uh, HP CSA uh, and, some, um, and some other equivalent uh, portal like Cloud Portal from Citrix to be able to provide this service catalog inside the enterprise with these options to go to different kind of hypervisors, which is really a high-end requirement for the enterprise space. So the, the, the features for cloud providers in terms of uh, what is interesting for them is to use Ushasoft for scaling their business. For the enterprise, it's a little bit different. They are using our platform for software governance and collaboration and sharing and managing all their image templates to go to virtualizations and cloud. So bridging the virtualization to cloud is becoming extremely important for the, for the enterprise space. And you've hinted at it, but let's just leave people with this thought of where is all this going? Not just for you, Ushasoft, but for us all. Um, I, I think that the, 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 the whole trend of the market is to be much more um, simple to use for the hand user. I, I, at, at the end, cloud computing is two things and two things only. And if you don't have these two things, you are not providing any product in the cloud computing space. So what it is? Self-service. So you need to be able to expose tools, enabling people to use your platform as a self-service platform. And automation, industrialization. And automation installation means also APIs. So your product should be able to, be, to work in a self-service, being able to have APIs to be integratable into the existing infrastructure and with all the components of what you need for building a complete, comprehensive, public or private cloud. Right. There is the future laid out by Alban Richard. If I were you, I would go to 
I can't say it. Now you share soft.com and check out what he's talking about because there's now quite a range of products. Yes, we, 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 have, uh, we have been releasing a new release and what, so what is new recently from Ushasoft in terms of Uforge 3.3, we have been actually extending the operating system support to Windows and, 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 uh, and SUSE with OpenSUSE and Enterprise SUSE. And we also have been expanding the connectivity uh, uh, working with Microsoft to Azure. So now we're supporting AMI, uh, Azure, OpenStack, uh, CloudStack, uh, Eucalyptus, Nambula, uh, vCenter, vCloud Director. Uh, uh, so it's quite comprehensive of, of support for connecting the platform. So that's two very interesting things that we have been bringing and what is new now. Uh, so Windows, connectivity with Azure and OpenSUSE. Additionally, we also have been packaging our own UForge platform as using our own technology, well, using our own technology to package UForge in a box, if you want, to be able to deploy extremely rapidly to customers. So we have a 400% growth in the, in, the past, in the past six months, uh, and we are still growing through distributors. So it was extremely important for us to be able to package our software for a four hours installations. You get everything deployed on premise with your factory as a service, your marketplace, the OS that you want to support, your logo and branded into the platform. And we do that through distributors, right? right? So we are looking at additional distributors to cover different geographies, and we're signing one, to, one, one distributor per month these days. So it's quite interesting. So the moral of the story is come to Cloud Expo, you get 400% growth and a new customer every month. And the last one is, um, I was explaining to that last time in, in the video, we, we are, um, going to expand with offices in the Bay, in the Silicon Valley. So we're a little bit late, but we should, uh, we should uh, normally have our office open by January, February timeframe uh, next year. Fantastic. So it's all happening with you, ShareSoft. Thank you so much, Alba, as ever, for talking with us. And uh, thank you out there for following along on the World Wide Web.